prokaryotic cells are typically much smaller and simpler than eukaryotic cells. They lack a nucleus and internal membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotic cells are divided into two domains, eubacteria and archaea. The archaea are different from eubacteria in that they possess ether link linkages um, in their cell membrane phospholipids and branched fatty acids. Sometimes these even fuse to make a monolayer. They do not use peptidoglycan in their cell walls like the eubacteria. And while they are often found in extreme environments, they can also be found in plankton and even in the human large intestine. Prokaryotes vary a great deal, and out of all of the variations discussed in the videos, you will simply be asked to give us several that um, leap out at you that you remember. So, bacteria vary in size. Um, some are even big enough to see without a microscope. Bacteria vary in structure. They can be uh, rod-shaped, round, uh, spiral, and then even square, and there are other uh, structures. They can have a cell wall or not. Uh, Gram-negative uh, bacteria can possess a lipid membrane around the thin peptidoglycan cell wall. They can have additional membranes as foldings inside the cell, as in the blue-green algae, or even a membrane wrapped around the DNA. And so there are considerable variations. You just have to name some. If asked to distinguish between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, once again, gram-positive bacteria possess a thick peptidoglycan layer without uh, a membrane around it, while the gram-negative bacteria possess a much uh, thinner uh, peptidoglycan layer with an outer membrane. The genome varies a great uh, deal in uh, bacteria. Some of the chromosomes uh, can be round or rod-shaped, there can be multiple uh, chromosomes, and there can be additional extra chromosomal loops of DNA known as plasmids. And so there are quite uh, a number of variations from the typical prokaryotic form. Phototrophs obtain their energy from sunlight, so they do not require other organisms. They can perform photosynthesis. Lithotrophs can obtain their energy from the stored potential energy in chemical compounds. Once again, they don't depend on other organisms. So both of these are autotrophs, but one depends on the sun and one uses uh, chemicals. There are different types of phototrophic bacteria. Some produce oxygen as a, uh, as a waste and use chlorophyll, and this would be typical of the endosymbionts taken into plants. But there are also other forms. There are uh, forms of photosynthesis that release sulfur instead of oxygen, or simply use sunlight to power a protein pump, and therefore are much less complex than what we typically associate with photosynthesis. Photosynthesis by the blue-green algae a little over two, two billion years ago added oxygen to the atmosphere, obviously very important. Now, not only does that continue today, but we also concern ourselves with the methanogens, which produce methane. The reason for this is because methane absorbs more heat than carbon dioxide, and thus can also contribute to climate change. We went through so many different lifestyles of bacteria that you could simply be asked to match them to their definitions. So for example, uh, bacteria which uh, utilize oxygen are called aerobes. Those which can live without oxygen or live with oxygen are facultative aerobes, while those which need to live without oxygen are anaerobes. Those which require high temperature, I'm sorry, high pressures are barophiles. Those which require high temperatures are thermophiles, high salt concentrations, those are halophiles. Now, some organisms are simply, say, halotolerant if they can tolerate salt concentrations but don't require them, or thermotolerant or barotolerant. Nitrogen fixation is the process by which nitrogen gas is incorporated into ammonia. Only microbes, only prokaryotic cells do this. 
This ammonia can be converted to nitrates and nitrites through nitrification, or ammonia can be converted back into um, nitrogen gas in denitrification. There is some differentiation of prokaryotic cells, so blue-green algae may produce heterocysts where nitrogen fixation occurs. Then some of the nitrogen-fixing bacteria live in specialized root nodules in a symbiotic relationship with plants.